collective Hales location. It has nothing to do with the county. What we do have a contract with her as the clerk of Hales location, um, and uh, it talks about the job description, compensation, additional expenses, and expiration. Uh, the agreement expires December 31st, 2012. And it may be negotiated, uh, if agreeable, by uh, both parties to extend it. Um, she has signed it uh, 2 3 12, And I would make a motion that we, as Board of Commissioners and Selectmen in Hale's location, sign the contract. Yeah, I have a question. I thought this was going by the delegation, how much she no. was making. Didn't no. we do that no. last year? No. no. I thought we brought it up when last they, year. When they no. pass the budget, it's in the budget. We have to get the budget to them. This is a contract that she, that's what she's presently making right now. I remember that last year. We never brought the contract. I, that's our I responsibility. I thought that Commissioner Solomon brought it up, how much she's going to make, and then they say yes or something. So uh, that's this must true. Be brought up to that's the true. That, you didn't hear what I said. I said the budget has to be approved by the delegation. Okay, and that money that she makes as a clerk or tax collector is in that budget. That's when that discussion comes up. So this and is when are we approving the budget from Hills? No, this is not the budget. Yeah, but when are we going to approve it? It will go to the hopefully the next delegation meeting in February, in March. They're so gonna, why they're is, meet why is this and then coming gonna, now? Why is she doing that not at the same time when we're doing the budget? Because she started working. This is an annual contract. We should have had it back in January. All right, now this was dated February 8th. I move that we accept the contract. Anybody I'll second it? I'll second that. We moved and seconded. Any further discussion on the contract? If not, all those in favor of the contract as proposed, say aye. 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 Those opposed? You I'm say opposed. You're opposed? Yeah. Okay. So moved, it passes. Mr. Chairman? <sighs> yes. It's my understanding that no amount of money spent to manage the affairs of Hale's location impacts the county That's taxpayer. Right. So whatever that contract amount is, is going to be paid by the taxpayers of Hale's location. Yep. So yep. It, it's a zero-sum game. Although we may not, uh, Commissioner Kenny may not like the amount, I don't know what the amount is, but none of us are going to end up paying any of it. No. I understand that, but we need to be reasonable too to the taxpayers of Hill's location. And I don't think we should uh, discuss this because we did it as a selectman of Hill's location. This is a Hill's location issue. But we bring and it like up. you said, the county taxpayers should pay for it. Yeah. And as you remember, we met at the nursing home with Hill's location representatives, and there must have been, I don't know, you were there, 15 or 20 people there. And uh, we went over the budget line by line. and. The question that they had was in regards to the schools and the ambulance contract. And Nothing roads. was said about and the roads. tax collector. The and roads. And roads. Oh, the roads were a big item, and for the general public here, um, I would like to move that we include $200,000 out of the surplus at Hale's location um, be used to put towards improving the road conditions in Hale's location as they requested, they gave us three. They gave us one first, and I said we needed three, and they provided the other three that meeting that was over at the, at the new nursing home. Um, I would move that we put into the Hales location budget up to $200,000 to pay, pay for the um, paving of the roads in Hales location. I'll second that. The bid that came in that they wanted to approve, I think, was for 168 or 186. So if we stay within the 200,000, that gentleman that is our contact between us and the Hales Location Association, uh, call me and he said, "Good, that's what we wanted." So all those in support of the motion say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. All right. So we make make sure that that gets into the budget when you call <coughs> Dr. Kathy. Do you need to sign any paperwork for the $200,000? No, it's approved here. What we're doing is we're adding it to the budget, and that budget then goes to the delegation for approval. And we'll have to explain that 200000 Okay. Um, I don't know if you saw any of this, but Representative Babson asked uh, the subcommittee of the delegation to answer about 16 different questions um, and that it was um, had to be accurate not just estimate in regards to uh, uh, well let me give you an example uh, an estimate of the cost in a in erection of a metal building because apparently he had heard that they were going to tear down the whole building and erect a new one. Uh, a hard number, not BPSs, for taking down the old nursing home. Um, um, life expectancy of the building versus an estimate of the monies we will, for co-op, to stay in their current digs, he called it. Um, the warranty provided by the building supplier and so forth. He's asked this of the subcommittee of the delegation to come up with answers. Like I say, there's 16 of them, so I'm not going to go through the, the, whole, the whole thing, but it includes, includes a lot of items. I'd be glad to share that with anybody. Is there anything else that we need to bring up at this meeting? I don't think so. Do you have anything else you want to bring up this meeting? Uh, not today. Not today. Okay. Yes, Mr. Brown. What? So we will conclude our portion of the meeting. Now we'll go into um, public input. Mr. Brown. If you can um, seal the minutes however you want to seal the <coughs> minutes, yeah. how does the public know that they've been sealed if they're, not, if they're sealed and non-public? Ask the county to ask the. Uh, but um, no, I mean, it's just from a common sense perspective. Yeah, how, yeah. how does the public know that they've been sealed properly if you want to seal them in non public? We, we should, as we come out of the non public session and go into a public session, which you people are all gone, we would then announce that they were approved and sealed in non public session. So when you get the minutes the next time around, you would see that they were sealed and approved in um, non-public. Okay? That's how you'd find out. Follow me? In public, he will find out that it is approved and sealed. Yeah. Okay? Is that clear? Yeah. So that's going to be your policy from now on? Yeah. On how to deal with the non-public so. Yeah. Um, the, in reference to the old nursing home, I know that the chairperson for the old nursing home subcommittee, Mark McConkey, was attempting to get that subcommittee together to make their final decision before Monday's delegation meeting. Do you know um, if he's been successful in scheduling meetings? I, that have I, not, heard and I have not seen any notification of it. Okay. I know they were going to approve the minutes, which they hadn't done. Mm -hmm. Their meeting was not correctly publicized. Um, so they were going to approve the minutes, and, and I have some corrections to those minutes. I don't think the figures were right. Um, that I, that I, it was my mistake. I didn't quote the right figures. I said 212,000, and I think it's 200. I won't say. <laughs> I have to look at my uh, my figures. It's either 215 or 225. He was trying to get the Three, group 325. To, he was trying to get the group together for Friday afternoon. So. Um, I don't know. Okay. I'll call him Mark. I just didn't know if he, he found out anything yeah. about that. Um, and lastly, the uh, while back you had mentioned that an attorney had been hired to investigate a grievance against one of the commissioners. I'm wondering what the status of that is. The status that is that he has been uh, interviewing the appropriate people, and uh, he will, 
I think Kathy Geary had talked with him, and I think his his uh, final uh, report will be due on March 20th. Oh. Okay. Thank you. And it's to clarify it, it's strictly a report that's due to the commissioners. Okay. What happens to it, we'll have to discuss it where it goes. It will include a recommendation from him as to what the next step should be? or I don't know that. All I know is he's investigating to see if it comes up to any kind of a standard uh, for action. whatever. Okay. For what? For any action. For any action, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I mean, it may be negative. Who knows? March 20th. What's that? He has until March 20th. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else public input? Yes. Um, I'm just trying to get some information because I wasn't able to be at the meeting, but I was told at the uh, delegation meeting that they went into a non-public session be, um, for a fairly extended period of time. Do you remember why they went in? What, what grounds they went They wanted to get in? a legal opinion? Okay. So what attorney was present? Uh, county, attorney. county attorney, Tom Dewhurst. Tom Dewhurst. So the county attorney, was he representing you or is he representing them? He went in, I believe. Okay. I, I'm not we weren't there privilege to this, I called him to find out if he could help me with this letter. And he said that he told both the delegation and us that he could not represent either one. He represents a total county. When did so, that happen? Monday. What, what? Was that prior to going into non-public that that, that he said he couldn't represent either side? No, it was after he came out. After he I came mean, out. after, when I called him to get counsel, he said he could not advise me as well as he couldn't advise so, him. So you actually had to leave the meeting too. It was mm -hmm. non-public oh, yeah. to the delegation. Yep. So at that point, the county attorney yep. was giving official representation to the delegation. I don't know. They asked him to be there, so I don't know well, what... I he, mean, what if he wasn't... Let me. Uh, I'm just trying to look at the logic of this. If he wasn't actually their lawyer at the time, it wasn't a consultation with a lawyer. So it shouldn't have been a non-public meeting. If it was non-public because they had the attorney present, it sort of it stands to reason that he was giving them official help. If he wasn't giving them official help, he wasn't their attorney. I think from their standpoint, he was look. They were looking to see if he could provide counsel after he got in there. Okay. I don't so know what happened. How long it, was the meeting? It, the non -public? I I just like to go back half an hour a, a bit a bit. It, An hour? I don't recall that when they said they were going into non-public, they said it was for legal counsel. They just said they were going into non-public. So they never actually gave what you consider a legal reason. No. Uh, they never followed not the, on the not legal to my reasons. Not, not to not what to I could mention. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, no? Not. Maureen here says I she was waited outside. It was about an hour. Yeah. It, it, so it, technically speaking, what, what everybody knows right now is, is that the dele delegation spent an hour talking with the county attorney about whether or not he could represent them. That was what was discussed. I don't know. I was not in a non-public meeting, so I have no idea. Oh, no, I, 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 yeah, I don't I either, know. but this is, I'm just trying to understand what people are aware of because, I mean, I will talk with, uh, I'm uh, assuming it was, uh, I will talk with Betsy Patton, but I understand that Joe Fleck was actually heading the delegation. Yeah, Betsy wasn't here. But as chairman, I think I'll speak with her first and say that I really would like an explanation about this because I, I got to wonder about the county attorney, sort of, who, I don't know, anyways. Thank you very much, because you know as little about this as I do. You know, what went we'll, behind we'll just well. call it a caucus. Yes. Well, it, 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 I'm sorry, but it, it wasn't called a caucus. If, um, I mean, they said they went into non-public. Um, I, I wonder... I don't know if it's non-public or executive committee. Yeah, I think they said It may have been executive committee. Yeah. That may have been what they said. In, which, in, 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 in any case, they threw everybody out. Executive committee can be they, done in non-public? Yes? I don't know. That's their problem, not mine. Yeah, when you're acting as a representative. Okay. But so it should say, it should be in the minutes whether or not they went into non public or executive committee. It's, it becomes they important. They had somebody taking the minutes of their non Well, no, I meant prior to that, it should say that the minutes of the meeting, the public minutes of the meeting, should stipulate why they went into non public, as it should be on the record now. They didn't say. Did they take a roll call vote before no. they went in? No. They no. just kicked everybody out. Yeah. So All right, so okay. when will those minutes be available? 
You don't ask know. Them. It's supposed to be three days. Is ask there, them. Ask them. I will. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Today. <laughs> Today. They should be right. Don't ask them. <laughs> it's an opinion. Three business Whoa. days. Three yeah. business days. All right. Thank you. Good okay. Anybody else? Public input? Seeing none. We move to adjourn. I move to adjourn the meeting. Second. Thank you. All in support of the motion say aye. 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 So good. Thank you all for coming, for sharing your input. I appreciate every single one of you in your input that you give at our meeting. Everyone. Even me? Even you, Mr. Brown. I show you respect. I give you the opportunity to speak.